Hello, my name is Angela Bradas, and I'm a fifth grade science teacher here in Maryland. And today's video is on how you can manage your HMH Science Dimensions textbook so that students can access their online textbook. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. And yes, that is my son that you hear in the background. So I apologize. This is the life of a mom. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Today's video is about how you as a teacher can designate textbooks to your different class sections in HMH Science Dimensions. So the very first thing that I'm going to do, since I am a Prince George's County Public Schools teacher, I am gonna go ahead and go to Clever. Clever houses our online textbooks and once I log in, uh, that's where I'll be able to access our HMH ED Science Dimensions textbooks. So to log into Clever, like I did earlier, or like what you saw, I went to clever.pgcps.org and that is how I got access to Clever. And when I scroll down and come to textbooks direct links, I'm gonna go ahead and select HMH ED. So once I select HMH ED, in order to assign textbooks to my different class sections, the next thing that I need to do is go to where it says, welcome Angela. So for you, it'll say welcome in your name. I'm Angela, so it has my name. <laughs> and so I come here where it says, welcome Angela and I'm gonna click on the down arrow. And when I click on the down arrow, I'm gonna go down to manage programs. And now this page shows me all the various HMH programs that are available in HMH ED. Now, because I'm only the science and social studies teacher, I'm only looking to assign the science textbooks to my class sections. However, if you happen to also teach reading, you are also able to assign the reading textbooks in the same exact way. So, like I said before, I teach science. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to assign the science textbooks to all three of my class sections because I'm departmentalized and I teach three different class sections. And I'm going to assign the fifth grade version of the science textbooks to all three of my class sections. Now, one thing that I'm about to show you guys is that as you may notice, the HMH Science Dimensions textbooks are also available in Spanish. And so in the instance that my classes have some ELL learners who are native Spanish speakers, I wanna make sure that they have access to the Spanish version of the science textbook in the instance that I need to utilize that to differentiate my instruction to help them. So I'm going to go ahead and find the Spanish version of the science textbook, which I already did. So this is grade five. And I'm going to assign this textbook to all three of my science sections. So the section 51 science, section 52 science, and section 53 science. So I assigned the Spanish version to all three class sections because I'm not sure which class sections may have some ELL learners who are native Spanish speakers. Next, I'm gonna scroll down until I can find the English version of the HMH Science Dimension textbook for fifth grade. So I'm gonna keep scrolling and scrolling and voila. Here is the fifth grade. HMH Science Dimensions textbook. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm going to assign this textbook to section 52, section 51, and section 53. Now, I just don't want to assign the fifth grade science dimensions textbook to my three different class sections. I also wanna go ahead and assign the fourth grade science dimensions textbook. And the reason why I wanna do that is because in light of what PG County is doing, PG County provided a continuity learning document to all the teachers in the county. And essentially the expectation is that for the first three weeks of school, we are expected to reteach the concepts that students were supposed to have mastered in fourth quarter during distance learning 
during these first three weeks of school. So because I had to go back and teach some fourth grade concepts, I also want to make sure that my students have access to the fourth grade science dimensions textbook. So I'm going to go ahead and assign section 50, 52, section 51, and section 53 for this HMA science dimensions textbook. And so what I did is that I just assigned section 52, section 51, and section 53 to the HMA Science Dimensions for fourth grade. And I'm gonna actually scroll back up and assign the Spanish version of that textbook. 52, 51, 53. Now, once I have assigned the textbooks that I want to assign to all the different class sections, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. But before I click Save, I do wanna make a note of one thing. So before we move on, Let's say you happen to be the science department chair in your building and you need access to all the science dimensions textbooks for grade K through grade five. So I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and assign those textbooks to yourself. I am the science department chair at my school building. And so I just like to have access to those different textbooks in the instance that teachers may reach out to me asking for assistance for whatever reason. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm actually going to also assign, alrighty, section 53 is the section I'm gonna assign all the other grade level textbooks to. So section 53 is gonna have grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five, and grade K. And then now I'm gonna scroll back up the very top of the page and select save. Now, if I go to the discover page and we're still under section 51 of science, like you can see up here, if I select this down arrow, it's gonna show me all the different textbooks that has been assigned to this class section. So like you saw before, this class section was assigned fourth grade science, the fourth grade science dimensions textbook in English and Spanish, and the fifth grade science dimensions textbook in English and Spanish. Now let's just go double check section 53. If you can recall from what I just showed you earlier, section 53 is the class section where I, where I assign textbooks from all the other different grade levels to that particular section. So if I go, if I go to section 53, and I select on this down arrow, I can see that I have access to all the science dimension textbooks for grade K through grade five in English. And then I have the science dimensions textbooks in Spanish for grade four and grade five. So that is how you assign your science dimension textbooks to your different class sections in HMH ED. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have not done so already, please make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can be kept up to date with other upcoming videos in the near future. Alrighty, I hope you have a blessed day and I will talk to you soon.